Today, I'll be flying on Finnair in business class featuring their brand new seats on the Airbus A330 from New York's JFK to Helsinki. Hello, YouTube travelers, and welcome to the Gentlemen of Fortune channel. Join me on my travels around the world, and together we'll review the latest in flight and lounge offerings, find out how various airlines' first and business class products stack up, sample their catering, and indulge in their finest champagnes. Together, we'll experience the best of the best, and maybe some more obscure ones too. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. And now I invite you to sit back and relax as we get this next adventure underway. Finnair operates out of Terminal 8 at JFK, which makes it convenient for business class passengers to take advantage of One World Partner American Airlines' flagship lounge. Once boarding commenced, I quickly made my way to my assigned seat 6L. Here's a first look at the seat, which has a very unusual yet distinctive look. There's really no delineation between the seat itself and the wall of the pod, which features the same material. I also feel that due to the lack of horizontal space, the seat had a bit of a cluttered appearance when I arrived there. A seat belt shoulder harness emanates from the seat back pod wall. Fortunately, that wall provides decent privacy. There's a small storage locker just above your shoulder where you could keep your headphones, and just above that is a personal reading light. The AC power outlet was hard to find, it's actually down at your ankle. There's a couple more storage compartments located next to your knee, which is where I found the amenity kit waiting for me as well. Other amenities waiting for me at the seat included a pair of slippers, a blanket, and a sheet that's used when the seat's transformed into a bed. Now here's a quick look at one of the two center seats in each row, which features a privacy divider that you can lower if you so choose. One of the coolest features of the new seats are these wireless charging pads on the side table. Sleekly designed into the edge of the table are the controls for the seat. There's also a tray table which can be extended to use for dining or working. It's not terribly large, but I appreciate the fact that it swivels and you can pivot it out of the way if you need to exit your seat. Overhead we have four personal lights, but sadly no personal air vents. As I settled myself into the seat, the service began promptly, and I was offered a glass of champagne. I like this interesting stylistic take on the traditional champagne flute. As long as we're wetting our appetites, let's have a look at what's on the menu for today's flight. Now these menu options may look tantalizing, and I believe that I heard somewhere that they designed the menu to accentuate the new cabin experience, but unfortunately, catering did not cooperate, and the available options did not seem to match up with the menu, at least as far as the warm plates went. As far as I could tell, the appetizers and drink selections available were as advertised. While we're waiting for takeoff, let's take a look at the amenity kit, which is presented in this stylish kit from the Finnish design house Mary Mecco. They're evidently renowned for their bold prints. I think they're probably also responsible for the special livery that's on this particular aircraft. Okay, so first up we have this box labeled Flying Essentials. I'm excited to see what's inside of it. Ooh, what's this card here? Mm, nothing. Well, let's take a look at this first tube here. It's from L.A. Brookett Facial Cream Light. And the next one is from the same brand. Almond Coconut Lip Care. Pretty cool. I've also got a pair of earplugs. And here's the all-important eye mask. It also has the same pattern from the Mary Mecco pouch. And the last thing we've got in here is a dental kit. Still got a little bit more time before takeoff, so let's take a look at the headphones they provide for business class passengers. They look pretty nice, with decent cushioning and padding for the ear cups. I wanted to draw your attention to one item on the screen which I thought was pretty unique, as I've never seen it before. It's a graphic depiction of the in-flight service schedule for the flight. The top row of numbers shows you the schedule in relationship to the departure point, in this case New York's JFK, and the bottom row is in relationship to the destination, or in this case Helsinki. Well now, after a little bit of a taxi delay, it's finally time for our takeoff on a beautiful evening from JFK.
As soon as we were safely airborne, the flight attendants brought around a refreshing towel, and they started with the drink service. I decided to give a try to their signature cocktail, the Northern Blush, which was served with this ramekin of mixed nuts. And according to our in-flight service schedule, it's now time for dinner. The appetizers and entree were served on a single tray, and as I mentioned before, there was a little bit of a disconnect with catering, so I selected the crab cakes for my warm plate. This nice looking piece of salmon, as well as the cauliflower, seems to reflect what was on the menu. The flight attendant also had a nice bread basket with several different types of bread. Since I needed to hit the ground running as soon as I arrived in Helsinki in the morning, I made the seat into the bed as soon as possible. This button here on the edge of the side table raises the seat segment at calf level. This effectively halfway transforms the seat into the bed. There's also a latch on the forward portion of the seat, which allows you to raise another flap so that you can convert it to a fully flat surface. Once I removed the linens which were stored in the footwell, I was able to put down the quilted sheet which finalizes the bed. As you can see, this bed is best for side sleepers and people with one leg. The pillows and blankets also feature the designs from Mary Meko. Despite the somewhat odd seat design shape, it is possible to fit two feet into the footwell. As with most transatlantic flights, there's not really enough time to get a full night's sleep, but the bed was comfortable enough that I was able to get a couple hours at least. According to the cabin service schedule, it's now time for breakfast, so let's take a look at what we got here. Not too bad of an offering, and it all tastes pretty good. This basically concluded the in-flight service. After this, the only thing left to do was to enjoy the views out of the window. Looks like a pretty nice day here in Helsinki. So I found Finnair's business class product to be pretty nice. We had a couple of delays in New York, and of course there was a little bit of a catering mishap. But other than that, I thought that the flight was pretty smooth. I was also pretty impressed with their new cabin. The seat was a little bit bizarre, but it works okay. And I was pretty impressed with some of the thoughtful ideas that were included in the design, like the wireless charging, as well as the cabin service schedule. I also like how they proudly interwove the Finnish design elements throughout. Well folks, I had a lot of fun on this flight, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button, and of course, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be updated anytime there's new content. As always, until the next video, safe travels.